Okay, so I'm making this video today because Christian Agron's video that we made exposing a certain person got flagged. And we have some suspects. We pretty much have an idea of who it could have been. But I just want to ask a couple of questions to the flaggers. Before that, I want to ask a question to you two. Um, YouTube, so if a bunch of mothers recorded a rapist admitting it or a pedophile admitting it, you want to protect the pedophile? That's not allowed. You're going to go with a flag and give somebody a strike because they exposed a reprehensible human being. So we can get all this other crap on YouTube. And we can have people degrading other people and saying all kinds of crap. But if we expose a pedophile or somebody threatening rape, that's not allowed. You're going to go with that flag. I don't know if you investigate or not, or just anytime somebody flags, you go with it. Because basically, as I see it, somebody can pretty much go around flagging everybody's videos and get them a strike just for no reason if that's the way your system is but i don't know but i do want to ask a question to the flaggers so you're perfectly happy with flagging somebody because i see it as two situations i see it as somebody just protecting their friend or somebody who hates us that is willing to flag us and go against us no matter what the topic is, no matter who else they hurt. All that matters is that they quote unquote, get us. And I just don't understand this. So you're willing to support and protect pedophilia and threats of rape and murder just because you hate Christian and I? or want to get us back for something? Do you not realize that you're like getting back at his future victims and the person who was threatened and then all the kids that he sent those uh, pictures to? You're supporting that by flagging him. It really has nothing to do with Christian or I. That's irrelevant. So I want to know how you can like sleep at night supporting that. He admitted it. He admitted it on his channel. He admitted it in the comments section. So it's not like it's slander or anything like that. It isn't. It's the truth. And if he himself flagged it, I have to say, remember when you said people that flag are pussies? So I guess you're a pussy now, too. Okay, so I don't know what kind, another thing, I don't know what kind of a scumbag would protect their friend knowing their friend was an admitted pedophile. That's just me. I'm not mentioning names or calling anybody that. I'm just asking, how can you live with yourself? Okay, I just don't get it. So, you know, think about that. If you're trying to do it as a revenge thing, you're supporting pedophilia. If you're doing it to protect your friend, you're supporting pedophilia and threats of murder and rape. And anybody that could possibly be offended by our video, why are you offended? Are you a murderer and rapist? Are you a pedophilia? I'm not saying this person murdered and raped anybody, but they threatened it. So do you support that yourself? Is that something you do? Are you offended that he exposed himself and admitted the truth? So that must mean that you support pedophilia and threats of rape and murder. So I just think that that's disgusting. I mean, that is absolutely disgusting. There have been so many videos made about Christian and I 
with the most insulting things on them and we don't flag we have never flagged those people so how can all these videos be on where you threaten people you make up lies about people you slander people you just have a good old time okay messing up people's reputations and everything else but yet i mean that's acceptable but yet pedophilia is okay threats of rape and murder are okay maybe it's because you know um the threats of rape and murder involved a woman and i know a lot of people it seems in a certain community hate women but that's beside the point you condone this type of behavior so somebody that gets threatened has no right to expose that that's that's my these are my questions that i would like people to ponder so just to recap if you flag a video where someone admits you expose this person and the person admits to everything right there in the comment section then they go to their channel and they make a vid confirming that yes they are guilty of this you feel it's perfectly okay to flag that video why the only reason you'd be offended is if you were like that and you did those things and you supported that and if you did it because you're a friend of this person well you need to choose better friends and i don't know how you could live with yourself supporting pedophilia or even threats of rape and murder and then lastly to recap if you're doing it for revenge what kind of a friggin monster are you that just because you dislike the people making the video you're going to support all that stuff. So basically, you're going against the victim. You're going against future victims. Think about that. But then again, you know, there's a lot of people that I've met since I've joined YouTube that really have no morals whatsoever and no compassion and just don't give a shit about anything. And they're practically inhuman. Okay, I've met some good people too, but I've met a lot. That are like that so maybe i shouldn't be surprised all right i'm out